Hello and welcome to the next session of interview preparatory course on top 50 SQL interview questions. Hope you are excited to solve another SQL question. So let's get started. Today we will discuss about left join in SQL. So what left join does? See, it will display all our rows from the left side table and it will display matching rows from the right side table and null values in the place of non-matching rows in the other table. For example, if you consider two tables, then all the rows from the left, left side table are displayed and the matching values are displayed exclusively for right side table and in the place of non-matching rows in the left side table, null values are placed. So with an example, you will get clarity. See, this is a table called EMP and in this DEPT number column is a common column for both the tables that we are joining and all the employees, 14 employees, we have 14 rows are, dis, uh, are distributed into 10, 20 and 30 departments and in the DEPT table we are having the same column DEPT number with values 10, 20, 30, 40 and department name and location. Now we are supposed to add this department name and uh, location of the DEPT table to the EMP table. So how can we do that? So in this example, I'm displaying row number, EMP number, E name, and department number for EMP table, and location, department name, and location. We are supposed to join with the EMP table. Job from EMP, left join, DEPT with EMP on. Now here you are supposed to write the condition. Whenever there is a match with department number of the EMP table with the department number of the DEPT table. If you execute this query, See, we have uh, displayed 14 rows. Why? Because there have been matches for all the rows present in the EMP table. For example, the 10th department is matched with department name, accounting and location, your, all the 10th departments. And all the 20 departments are matched with, 20 department employees are matched with research and dollars, which is taken from that DEPT table. See, and in this, we have matches for all the records. And in the second example, what I'm doing is uh, I'm filtering with one more condition d name equal to sales so what happens here is that this condition is satisfied only for the sales department and in the unmatched rows that means the 10th department which is not a sales department all the values which are not a sales department the null values are placed in the right side table columns that is in the dept column as there is no match then null values are placed in unmatched rows that's it for example if there is a match then all the values are placed from right side table to the left side table and if there is no match then all even though all the records are displayed null values are placed in the place of right side column unmatched values other than sales department for the right side table dept column that means dept table d name and location null values has been placed that's it if you have enjoyed the session and it is really helpful to you don't forget to like the video also do share your questions with us in the comment section let's solve them together and help other geeks as well thanks for watching